actually that's all right it goes yeah something like that yeah right so what Fitz is talking about is is a level CPR and does anyone else know or doesn't know what I'm talking about when it comes to level CPRs Would, every, would anyone, so no, you don't know what I'm talking about, Howard. All right, I'll go over it. Everyone else, Maggie knows. I know you know Maggie. Um, Ed, Terence, if you want to just type in the, in the box, yes or no. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I can't type. I've got I've an operation. Ah, okay, oh, no worries. All right, so I'll go over it anyway. And what Fitz is talking about is level CPRs. So, from a capture pain relief perspective, what we understand is that there are several, uh, well, about three different types of traders. You've got breakout traders, you've got retracement traders, and you've got level traders, yeah? So they all look for certain types of patterns or, or, or um, structures in order to trade, yeah? So when it comes to level traders, what level traders do, trade levels they trade either the underside or the or, or the overside if you want to call it the overside right so if you get something like that yeah nice level and then you get something like that what what do you think the level trader is going to do he's going to trade that level yeah because he trades levels now once you get a trader and a level trader that trades that level they put they 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 with with um uh, capture pain relief. What you're taking advantage of is the fact that traders either don't use stop losses or they move or remove their stop losses. Yeah. So because of because of something called loss aversion. Yeah. And loss aversion is real. Many of you would have suffered from loss aversion. I've suffered from loss aversion where um pain well well pain feels worse than gains feel good. Yeah, so um, it's the reason why, for example, a lot of us have friends, you know, family, right? And your friend could do, you know, could be your best friend for years. You know, when you were homeless, you slept on their sofa, they lent you money and all that kind of stuff. Then one time they didn't turn up for your birthday. Yeah. And then you're going to forget everything that they've ever done for you. And you're going to focus on the fact that they didn't turn up for my birthday. Because the pain that you felt then out far outweighs the good times. I mean, that's a bit extreme, but you know, you understand what I'm saying. Friendships really just as a side note, really, you should be able to talk to your friend about anything, you know, uh, in general, you shouldn't just cut them off. And I've, I have friends that have, you know, have had like 30 year relationships and they don't speak to each other because of, you know, certain things and really kind of minor, but that is, you know, I guess loss aversion at its extreme, if you want to call it loss aversion, but it's, it's when pain feels worse than gains feel good. So what happens is with all the best of intentions is that traders will place their stop losses here if they use stop losses. And there's uh, there's blogs out there that would tell you not to use stop losses and use a mental <laughs> a mental stop or whatever it is, yeah. Um, and good luck to that because when you're losing or when those traders are losing and they don't have the discipline, yeah, and they're thinking to themselves, I can't take this loss anymore because I've been on a ten trade losing streak, right? I need to make back this money. I can't lose again, and of course, people can lose. Right, or they've over leveraged. Instead of risking, um, you know, one percent, they've lost three percent now, or or they've risked three percent or five percent on that trade because of their losing streak or whatever it is. What happens when this trade starts to go against them? And what's happened to you if you've ever done this before? What's what's happened to you? You've moved your stop loss lower, thinking I don't want to take that loss, don't want to take that loss, I don't want to accept that loss. And the market starts to go against you and you keep moving your stop loss down. Yeah. So that's the pain phase. The capture phase was here, was the price action that seduced you or level traders into getting long. Right. It captures you. Once you place your, 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 uh, your, your market in the money, once you press buy, your money is now fair game to be caught. Right. To be, um, 
uh, 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 it's fair game for me now in order to take advantage of that, right? Or someone like me. So you, you're committed. You've you've been caught in your in your uh, in your trade once prices go against you because rather than exit in the trade because pains feel what painful what feels worse than gains feel good you remove or don't use a stop loss and you go through the pain phase now when if if prices if you're lucky enough prices to ever come back here what happens pain relief right if you've seen your account go down to maybe 30 percent unrealized loss and then all of a sudden you get a chance to get out now for your original you know, 3% loss or risk, what do you think you're going to do? You'll you, get out of break even. That's exactly it. You'll get out of break even or near break even to accept that small loss, right? Now, if you went long here, if you went long there, you have to, or if you bought here, you have to sell to exit. Yeah? So yeah. What, what capture pain relief is, is... It, it, un, it, you understand the supply and demand, the imbalance in supply and demand from a psychological and technical perspective. So we've got sell orders from traders who got caught here, went through the pain here, and wanted some relief here. Yeah? So sell orders because they're exiting their trade. Not only that, you've got what? Other level traders that are looking at that level, that level, that level. Support, support, support should turn to what? Resistance. These guys are also going to be getting in new trades and looking to sell, right? So not only do you have the CPR traders, relief traders, you're going to have new traders getting involved on the underside of that level here. But then you also have these guys, not necessarily the pain traders, but traders who maybe bought down here. And as prices are coming up, where are they taking profit? Here. And if they bought down here, then they have to do what to exit? Sell. So you've got a whole load of sell orders, or you should have a whole load of sell orders in this area from a technical analysis perspective. Yeah. So the question is, why would there be more buy orders than sell orders? That's what you have to ask yourself at this point in time. Technically, there shouldn't. Of course, there's market manipulations, etc. But technically, you should have more sell orders in that area. This being obviously a certain supply zone anyway. So supply and demand equation wise, this is the reason why you would enter. Plus, you've got the fundamentals of, you know, buy the, the JPY. Yeah. Over the yen. So that's basically what FITS has done. My only critique of that is that I don't think there was enough pain. What you would really want is you would want to see, you know, something like this where you get, as prices start to go down, yes, some traders get relieved here, but what you want to see is you know, not, not every trader is going to get relieved as well, by the way. But this is now the pain phase. And then you want to see prices come back up here and then relief. So you want to see a bit more pain. That's what you want to see. See? More pain. The more pain, the better. Because the more structures it breaks, yeah, the more structures it breaks, the more these guys are convinced that they're on the wrong side of the market. If prices have just kind of gone down a little bit and kind of come back, they, can, they, they might be convinced that it's just a deeper pullback and to kind of, you know, to stay in that trade, if you know what I mean, or to just add to that trade. But what you, wanna, what you want them to feel is a lot more pain. And the pain comes from structure breaks. Because most traders, right, are trend traders, I say most traders, but in an example... In this example, yeah. When does the trend end? When has a trend ended? When is it, when is a trend trader convinced that the trend has ended? When it breaks here, 
but then it could just be a deeper pullback and then how many of us have seen something like that? It's when... Yeah, so when it breaks that. Exactly. The more levels it breaks, the more these guys are convinced that the trend is over. So when it starts to break that one now, it's like, uh-oh. And it breaks that one, it's like, uh-oh, because they're now looking back and saying, we're now in a downtrend. So the more obvious levels that break the more pain and then they're more likely to get out because of the fact that this is no longer an uptrend. So if they manage to get capture pain relief. Yeah. So if they manage to, to, to somehow get involved in that, then brilliant. You know, and that's where we're getting involved in. But like I said, my only critique of, of that would be um, it's quite, it's very local, by the way. So you want to, you want to be more spatially aware fits of that, you know, of this, of this move here, more pain and then the relief. So a, a good example of some capture pain relief would be, uh, let's say here, brilliant. This is a great example. Yeah, so let's go up maybe a higher time frame, maybe like 10 minutes or so, right. So look at this now. You've had this massive move to the downside. Look at that. Everyone, everybody is getting, actually, I won't do the 10 minute, I'll do the five minute because it, it illustrates it a bit better. Uh, five minute, oh, five minutes, right. So everyone now is doing what? Getting short, yeah? The trend is your friend. Everyone following so far? Yeah, everyone following still? Pull back. Yeah, 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 brilliant, right. So now, retracement traders are probably in somewhere and then what you're looking for is breakout traders, the breakout trader, yeah? That level has definitely gone according to the breakout trader. Look at that close. How many of you guys have been taught that, you know, when you get a close below a level, that the level's gone, by the way? Have, have any of you actually heard that saying? Yep. Many times, isn't it? Yep. That's exactly it. But then what do we get? We get a move back up. So we know, we know that these guys who are the breakout traders are caught in their positions. They've committed to getting short. No sooner have they done that, then prices have gone against them. So, one sec. So we go back a bit. All right. And price never lets them off the hook. Yeah. So when I say lets them off the hook, prices never come back down. Yeah, to give them any kind of pain relief. They're caught in their positions, prices go against them. Look at that pain. They're only meant to risk, you know, a little bit. And now, because they, their inability to accept a loss, look at that pain. Then they go through the agony, 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 agony. And look at this, look how many structures this is broken as well. Talk about structures broken. Structure there. Structure there, structure there. You see what I'm saying? As prices are going against them, the pain, look at that pain. Loads and loads and loads of pain. Where's the relief? Where is the relief? Right there, because if they can hold for it. If they can hold for it, yeah. <laughs> if, their account, if their account hasn't blown it, if their account hasn't blown up, that's exactly it. If they haven't blown up their account, yeah. Remember, this is like a five-minute chart. So, uh, so actually, matter of fact, people still blow up their accounts in five-minute charts. But, um, you know, what do you think these guys are going to do? If they sold here, 
yeah then they have to do what to exit they have to buy do the opposite transaction anyone else who any new traders yeah who are looking at a level of what support potentially are looking at buying where here anyone who went short from up here some lovely stop hunts going on around here uh where are you looking to get take take your ultimate profit as liam was saying you know the 80 percent level the bottom of the range this would have been a nice area to take profit if you sold up here you have to do what to exit got to buy to exit so net net we have um uh two you know loads of buy buy orders so sell orders how many who's selling at loads who sells at loads and if you're selling here you deserve what you get <laughs> you deserve what you get because you because you're going to go through that same thing again yeah so capture pain and then the relief right there So fits, I would definitely say um, more spatial awareness on that on that level, on that level CPR for sure. Um, I definitely get what you're saying, um, but I thought you were going to talk about the uh, the stop hunt. This was a very nice stop hunt. It was, yeah. Yeah, this this nice. this this um this alerted at like one in the morning. Yeah, it was like one in the morning. Yeah, you just can't get them all, can you? Yeah, you can't get them all. And now look at that. Sorry. <laughs> So if what I'm saying resonates with you, why not check out trading180.com? There is a selection process to trade my supply and demand zone forex strategy. I'm only looking to work with uh, individuals with the right mindset, you know, who are hard working as well. So um, check that out and access really for less than one pound a day. This Some of the strategies in here are not for beginners. So if you don't know what supply and demand is, please check out all of my supply and demand videos. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube, so you can check that out first. Um, guys, take care and until the next video, have a good one.